Baruch Hashem Abotai, we arrive to the Thursday, Erev Shabbat Bezat Hashem. We're all starting the preparations for Shabbat. May Bezat Hashem, this Shabbat and the upcoming week, turn to a week full of Sasson and Simcha and Shefa and Bracha and only Bezat Hashem good news to hear. So the Rabotai, like we said, is Thursday. And on the day of Thursday, we have that connection to the Sfirah of what? Hod. Now Hod Rabotai is a very simple Sfirah. Hod, the word Hod comes from what word? Hodaya. Being thankful. Because when one is thankful and he appreciates what he has, he could reach to a complete happiness. It doesn't matter what a person has. It doesn't matter what happens to him on that day. If a person is able to be thankful in all what he has, he will reach to a complete happiness. He will reach to a complete peace. We now put it as a story that I mentioned a few months ago. And yesterday a man came to me and he said, every single time something bad happens to me, I think about this story and I'm no longer upset. So I would love to share with everyone this story. It said about one time, a Baal Shem Tov, that he was sitting down with his students and his students asked him, who is the man that gives the Kadosh Baruch Hu the most joy in the world? So a Baal Shem Tov told them, as much as you think that it's me, it's not me. But who is it? It's a very, very simple person, a very, very poor person on the other side of the city. The students of the Baal Shem Tov, they said, they, what? This poor, simple man, he's the one that gives the Kadosh Baruch Hu the most joy in the world? Abbas Shem Tov said, yes. So the student said, please, show us who is this person. So to make the story a little bit uh, shorter, he said, Abbas Shem Tov, he said, I will take you to show you this person who makes the Kadosh Baruch Hu happy, but in one condition that we need to make sure that he doesn't see us. So if we go, we have to disguise. If we go, we have to make sure that no one will recognize us. And they agreed. So Abbas Shabbat told them, this Friday night, we're going to go and see why this person gives such joy to Farqa Bishbaw. So they go and they, got, and they dressed up for Shabbat. They dressed up for Shabbat, but in a different way in order for people to not recognize them. And they walked to the other, city, the other uh, side of the city. They arrived to the shul at that time, all the Hasidim, coming from every single corner of the city with Steinmel, with the, the, the long suits, dressed like kings, like angels, to go they bring the Kedusha of Shabbat, to, to pray Erev Shabbat Friday night. And they see that after everyone coming with such a beautiful dress, clean, ready for Shabbat, there's a man that walks in. He's poor, dirty, his clothes are ripped, his shoes are ripped, not much, not much, a man that suffers a lot. Bashem told the students, look, He's the man that comes back home. They make the Kaddish Baruch happy. The student said, that man, he's a simple man. He's maybe a, maybe he works with charcoal. How can he be the one that makes the Kaddish Baruch so happy? But they said, you know what? We have to keep, stay quiet. They do the tefillah and they see that in tefillah he's praying and singing and praying and singing. But he's praying with such a happiness. The student said, you know what? Maybe it's because of his tefillah Kaddish Baruch loves him so much. Because he's praying from his heart. They finish the tefillah. Abbas Shittu said, we have to go, go after him. But when we go after him, we have to make sure he doesn't see us. So, Mama said it like this, at the Ba'a Shintov and his students were hiding from one bush to another, from one gate to another, making sure nobody notices them. They follow him to the house. They see all oh, the houses are big, beautiful. And suddenly, the poor man is going into a house. It's small, dirty, dark, one candle maybe to make light. They didn't have the, 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 the money to buy a couple of candles. But they see that the wife was standing outside the house waiting for her husband. And the wife also looked very, very poor. The wife also looked very, very dirty. Mamash, in the lowest uh, situation of, 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 of financial labor. And when the husband gets home, the wife jumps on him. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. All the kids run to him. Shabbat shalom. They kiss him. He blesses them. And they start to sing Shabbat. So the students are singing. They're saying, wow, look at that. Look how happy he is. And look, he has nothing, but look how happy he is. Bashem said, wait, it's not why he, Akadosh, he makes Akadosh Baruch so happy. They sing all the, the, the songs of Erev Shabbat. They take water, they do a kiddush, or maybe water with a couple of drops of, uh, of the grape juice inside. And they start to eat the meal. So, the students see that from the kitchen, the wife goes, bring a platter. Maybe ten small little bowls of what? What starts in the beginning of the meal? Salads. So they see Ten little bowls. She puts them on the table and she starts to spread them out. But they notice that in all the ten bowls, what's inside? Lentils. Twenty bowls, they're all full of lentils. 
And the husband starts up, could you take from this one, and that one? He serves himself one spoon from each bowl. And every bite he takes, he says, wow, that salad of, uh, of madbucha is amazing. And that salad of fish is amazing. And that salad of that is amazing. And it's all the same lentils. That's so interesting. What's happening here? What is happening? He's eating lentils and serving himself from the same lentils. And every time he's tasting something else, he says, let's wait. 20 minutes later, the husband gets up. He says, my wife, the salads were amazing. It's time to bring out the fish. She goes to the kitchen. She has one bowl of lentils. She takes a bowl of lentils, puts it on a flat platter, and brings it to the table. In here, my husband, this is the fish. The students are looking to see what's inside. Lentils, the same lentils that were in the salad. And the husband takes the lentils and serves himself and says, my wife, what? This is the best fish that you ever made in, in your entire life. And it's lentils. They finish the fish, the le uh, fish, uh, lentils. And he says, my wife, it's time to bring out the meat. And the wife goes and brings now other platters. And she, they see that she's taking from the same pot of lentils and putting a different platter and bringing out, you know, my husband, this is the chicken, this is the fish, this is this salad, that is that. And he's serving himself with each one. And every time he takes a bite, he says, thank you so much for this meal. Abbasid said, that man, he had nothing. He had one bowl, he had a bag of lentils. But he took that bag of lentils and he made such a happiness of Shabbat that the, that man gives HaKadosh Baruch the most joy. And that Abotai is our mission. It's to look at what we have and to have pure happiness from what we have. And if we're able to do that Abotai, not only will HaKadosh Baruch see it as the strongest source of faith, he will bless us with blessings we cannot even imagine and we will make our Father in the sky very happy. So may HaKadosh Baruch give us all bracha and atzlacha and besiyat adeshmai gdola. Amen.